So basically, what I'm going to talk about today, this is a brief outline to give you an idea of sort of the layout of the presentation, is what is it that is behind the names and faces of people like Hugo Chavez, or Evo Morales, or Rafael Correa, or Cristina Kirchner, Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner, I'm sorry, or Lula, or Bachelet, or Tabaré Vázquez, or Lugo, or Lugo now, all of these people that are heading governments that are considered to be part of the turn to the left in Latin America. So how, how do we build a place to look at these transformations uh, from within and also from without? And in that, in that context, I found very useful uh, the concept of conjuncture. I'm going to be talking about a little bit at the beginning of that. And then I will give you a sense, a more intuitive sense of the, of the transformations that are happening today in Latin America by reading some statements made by some of the most prominent actors, not, not, not only the presidents obviously, but some presidents as well, about how they see the transformation themselves. And then in part four, that is going to be the bulk of the presentation, I will try to make the argument, the main argument that how do we see the transformations uh, in terms of two potentially contradictory and different projects? One, are they just alternative forms of modernization that really don't challenge sufficiently the basic models of society? Or do they attempt something a more radical transform societal transformation? And if so, how can we see that? Are they decolonial projects that some people, also including some indigenous intellectuals, begin to call them with the Chavismo, but they have become increasingly critical of, 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 of the turn of events? For some, what the referendum that was without, uh, uh, and, and how the, what led to the referendum that didn't have much public, much public consultation, uh, uh, reflects a return to the left of culture of the bureaucratic apparatus. Uh, there is, despite the fact that there's some very interesting dynamics, popular dynamics, especially at the level of community councils going on in Venezuela, especially in the poor neighborhoods of the large cities. Nevertheless, and, and that's about promoting self-development and a different notion of development, especially endogenous development and a popular economy, especially through cooperatives. Despite all of that, and nevertheless, in the sphere of politics, and this is the, the, the third quote from Margarita Lopez Maya, there appears to be a regressive revolution towards the closing of the space of participation and democratic decision making. So the question becomes that, I mean, will the state be able to open up to the more autonomous sectors of the transformation, especially of the social movements. And 